Hey guys, this is Peroxide here with my very first Let's Play! Yay! So, okay, in regards to my voice, I'm actually a girl, so please don't spam the comments with Oh my god, you're a 12 year old prepubescent boy! Wait till your balls drop to make a video! So, none of that shit, okay? Thank you. So, yeah, I messed up the first time, and it wasn't recording any sound, so this will be my third time playing Judith. <laughs> so, it's a game made by, I think, Terry Kavanaugh and some other guy, I can't remember. Um, the description is, it's a game about control. So, it's very slightly ominous. Um, I know Cry already made a Let's Play this, but I'm not going to be exactly like his. So, hi, yeah. I'm meeting Emily today. We can't meet very often. We're both married, but not to each other. So I'm a cheating bastard. So when we do get to see each other, we try to make it special. It's been four months since we last met. Well, at least you're only cheating once every four months. This kind of looks like, a, you know, one of those really, really old school games. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, look, Jeff! Oh, my, that's my name, Jeff. Emily, you look beautiful. I've missed you so much. I keep thinking about the last time we met, when I gave you that necklace. Ha! My husband was a little suspicious about it. I told him that I'd bought it for myself as a treat. I hate that we have to be so secretive. I know, me too. It's better for everyone this way, though. Shall we go inside? Where are we going? Am I gonna get some... am I gonna get some ass? Some, some hot ass? Are you sure this place is private enough? Well, it looks pretty fucking private. I had to go through a fucking hedge maze to get here. Oh, I think so. According to the company I rented it from, it's been abandoned for years. The locals are really superstitious about it. Oh, how exciting! <coughs> exciting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a horror game. Let's have a look around. Okay, she, she fucking bolted. Oh, look. <coughs> hey, we're locked in. Are we? Or did it just shut? I bet we're locked in. Well, I can't can't do anything with it, so I guess we're locked in. It's over here. Nothing. Empty hallway. Maybe it's good to hide there. Okay, so there's one door. Two doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people who like to complete a game completely. Emily? Oh, she must be in the other room. Yeah, I like to, you know, sort of inspect everything, even if it doesn't always make sense to inspect everything. I'm, I'm sort of a mild completionist, so if you want a gigantic game, then this is the place for you. Or a gigantic let's play. Emily? That's strange. She doesn't seem to be in here either. Okay, so she went missing. You know, so I'm. this isn't really a long game. It's only about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, examine it. Looks like a penis. She's a man! Emily, are you there? I had the strangest dream last night. Okay, so I was blue, Jeff. Emily was pink. This is somebody else. I had the strangest dream last night. Hmm? And another person. It was of a man sitting with a piece of jewelry in his hand. He seemed so sad. What happened after that? I can't remember. At least I'm assuming that the green is a girl and the blue is a guy. Okay, so uh, that was it. I just had a hallucination as I went to bed in this creepy house that somehow still has a bed and has a bookcase that well, it has a library and it oop. This house has a library and it has a bed. But it doesn't have a kitchen and it doesn't have any any other things. Weird. One of these books looks oddly out of place. Oh I'm still I'm still that other person. Here's the book. Oh, what is this? Oh and that looks inviting. It's very cozy. What's this? Open the door. I don't believe it. My husband keeps a treasury back here? He is such a secretive man. Look at all of this gold. Yeah, he's hiding it from you in case you break up with him. Wait, is this blood? There's no blood on this painting. There is blood on the gold, though. Examine the necklace. That necklace looks very pretty. I don't suppose my husband will mind if I take it. He probably won't even notice that it's missing. The game is going to make me be stupid and take it. So fine. It fits perfectly. Now it's never going to come off and you're going to die of being strangled by a cursed necklace. That's probably why it's in here, with bloody gold. You probably got it illicitly, no shit. Why did she just take it? It was sitting by itself, not like with another pile of gold. So it's probably something that he was looking at or cares about and is gonna miss. No, I really shouldn't have taken this necklace. I don't feel right about it. I should leave it back. Leave it back. 
let's let's go in there. Oh, I forgot to examine everything else. Oh, I guess I feel better now. Yeah, I, I know I played this game before, so I know that all these doors are already locked right now. This door seems to be locked. I think I can hear something behind it. Sorry if my voice acting is bad. I'm not actually a voice actor. Surprise! Open door. This door seems to be locked. Yes, they're all locked. They're all different colors, too, which is weird. This door seems to be locked. And this door seems to be locked. Even though it's more of a, a chain door, it's probably something bad over there. So I'm glad it's locked. Although this one has something behind it, and it's a red door, which probably means there's a lot of blood and murder going on. My husband must have this part of the castle hidden away for a reason. I probably shouldn't even tell him I was there. No, you, you probably shouldn't. You saw a bunch of gold with blood on it. That's usually a bad sign. You should probably leave now while you still can. What did you do today, Judith? Oh, I was just mending some clothes, mostly. You shouldn't trouble yourself with such tasks. That's what the servants are for. Servants. The vents. They're vents. Yes, you're right. I'm still adjusting to life in a castle. My sweet, rest yourself tonight. These things take time. Yeah, the killing people and taking all of their money takes time. You're right, my love. Good night. How did I end up in the bedroom? Oh, the bed's empty. Oh, it's... Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm white, not blue. That's strange. I saw Emily come down here. I wonder where she's gone. Hello, flat clock. I'm penis bed. Okay, so I'm back to being Jeff. Let's check the fireplace. Did I already check it? Yeah, I did. Why is it just a big fireplace? There's not even a fire. Or wood. Oh, well, I guess it's an old house. With spirits, maybe? Maybe that's who the other two are? Judith? Oh yeah, that was Judith. Okay, so Judith is... Oh. This looks like a fiction section. I see a number of fairy tale collections. There's one book that seems out of place, though. A heavy leather-bound book called Civil War. Let's take the book. A lot of religious books here. Military history. Could that be the right place for the book I found? Let's put it on the shelf. Oh, look. Ah, a secret passage. I wonder if Emily found this and wandered in. How could she have wandered in when the bookshelf with the book was over here? Maybe it was locked, or maybe it was open, and she wandered in and it shut after her. It's possible, I guess. Let's open this. Hey, look. The necklace is still there. Here's Emma necklace. This necklace, this belongs to Emily. Where is she? Oh, fade to black. Okay. I had another terrible dream last night. Of what? I dreamed of the same man. He feared his wife dead. Yeah. It's just a dream. Don't let it upset you. What? Listen. See, you can hear a fucking donkey in the back room. Or whatever the hell that is. Like you can open the doors through the walls. I wonder what else my husband is hidden back here. Listen. It's a fucking donkey. It's coming from here. Wasn't this door locked yesterday? Yep. It was yesterday. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Let's go. What? What is this? I think I'm going to be sick. Look. It's a donkey man. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? Please, please help me. What are you doing here? I have been a prisoner for four years now. I don't understand why. Shut up, donkey boy. Pony boy, like in the outside. Please just kill me. What? No, I couldn't do that. Please, I can't bear any more of this. I can't believe my husband would do this. If you don't end my suffering, I'll tell him you found me. What will he do to you when he finds out where you've been? next wife for mercy. No! Dude, you're an asshole. I know you're, I know you're in pain. Eternal pain. But that doesn't give you any right to be a jerk. Are you to talk to me again? I'm sorry if you can't hear my voice over his donkey bellowing. Doesn't it sound like a donkey or like a Tyrannosaurus Rex? This door is locked. I think they're all still locked. Yeah. Who am I now? Am I? Yeah, I'm still a Jew. Hey, look, all the gold is still there and the necklace that I can't pick up this time. Fine. Okay. I I don't believe it. That poor man, his legs broken, practically starved to death. My husband's just barely keeping him alive. I'll never be able to leave that dungeon. 
My husband has so many terrible secrets. I must know them all if I am to love him. How could you still love him? After seeing that he is starving a man and abusing him for four years. What did you do today, Judith? See, he knows. He fucking knows. He's just testing me. I received a letter from my sister. How is she? Happy in all things. As are we. I hope you have a pleasant day tomorrow. Yes, good night. He's gonna kill her. This door wasn't unlocked earlier, Emily. Whose blood is this? How is there still blood in an abandoned house and like nobody fucking found it? Where are you, Emily? I had that dream again. With the man who lost his wife. He was weeping tears of blood. Some day I hope you will wake up happy by my side. Oh, well that's sweet, even though you're, you know, not a cell maniac. At least he loves his wife. Well, he will until he finds out what she's been doing. Look, all oh, that's still there. Good, good, it's all there. Still, dead guy who's, who stopped bellowing at least. He's no longer a donkey man. That's a, that's a bonus. Because that was getting really annoying, actually. Oh, look! It looks like an armory. But these weapons... These weapons are all drenched in blood. What sort of man must my husband be? Okay, there's like... Thirteen times four. What is that? It's like seventy-two. Wait. <laughs> Fifty-two. <laughs> I'm smart. Um... Yeah, that's 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 a lot of weapons for one guy. Or well, they're all all the rest of them are dead. Take the dagger and kill the prisoner. I, I can't stop thinking about that poor prisoner. Has he really been there for four long years? Death would be a release for him. I'm not moving it. Just to let you guys know. Oh, it's you again. It sounds like Glados when he said that. I've made a decision. I'm going to help you. Thank you. What the fuck is up with his voice? He's such a weirdo. He's so loud. We could hear him in the bedroom the first time. I hope I've done the right thing. You're just gonna leave him there? <laughs> okay. Leave him there with a stab wound that the king will know was not caused by him. Return the dagger. Okay, we should probably keep it. You know, it's a stab arm. Abusive husband. Yeah, yeah, leave it with blood on it. He won't notice. Well, I guess he wouldn't notice if all the other tools have blood on it. But why is this the only one that's on the ground and not on the, the shelves? So he's, he might know. And then he's gonna kill us. Wait, shouldn't you at least wipe the blood off or something? Or put it there? No, that, that'd be even stupider. <laughs> Derp. Oops, I'm just, mm, we should probably not leave that open. Cause like, if he comes and sees that it's open, he'll fucking know I've been there. Dumbass. What did you do to Jay, Judith? He's gonna ask me that every time. I read in the drawing room. The weather was clement. Like clementines, oranges falling from the sky. I hope it's good tomorrow as well. Good night, my dear. Good night. such an irregular pattern. Why is there only one guy in here? Is this like the torture chamber? And then you drag them back and ping them up there when you're done with them? I don't think that Jeff has checked this out. Looks like this used to be the armory. Emily's not in here either. I'm sure she must be around here somewhere. It's a dagger with blood on it. Emily, what's become of you? I hope, I hope you're still alive. My dear sweetest Emily. He doesn't get very long parts, does he? Did you dream again, my dear? Yes, but I can barely remember it. What happened? I think... I think he was digging a grave for her. You have such dark dreams. I think they're being caused by her little... excursions while you're gone. 
Or maybe she's psychic and has dreams about the future. I know I shouldn't be going back here, but I need to know what kind of man I'm married to. Why doesn't she just get the fuck out? I need to know. Oh, it's not me moving again. She's crazy. Oh, it's a garden. Why is there such a garden here? Like, what, did they take the prisoners out here for psychological torture? <laughs> it's like, fuck, this is what you could have, but you don't unless you tell us our secrets. Or their secrets. Very prisoner with shovel. I can't leave the prisoner's body lying on that floor. It's not right. He needs to be put to rest. And again, I'm not moving. But also, how is, like, if you just take a prisoner and all of a sudden he's gone, even though he's been there for four years, so he's obviously an important prisoner... You pick him up, somehow she's able to carry this guy. Oh, well, I guess he is, like, anorexic, so that explains it, I guess. But, so she's managing to carry a body in her fluffy dress or whatever, you know, they wore during that time period. You know, you don't dig a hole that big and dump a body in there and then fill it up all in one day without anybody noticing where she is. Rest in peace. So why didn't you just bury him in the flower bed? It's a lot more hidden. Also, look, look, look how stupid she is. Why did she put it right there? Now everyone's gonna know she buried a body there. Like, obviously, because why would anyone dig a hole that big for no reason? I was, I was digging for gold, honey. I swear. And she didn't put the shovel back either. So I've still got a shovel in my hand. You should really take some of those weapons, son. Yeah. She won't. Fine. Look, this is so fucked up. She's gonna get caught. <laughs> She's gonna get killed. Why don't you just take some gold and call yourself a horse cab and get the hell out of here now? Okay. We're leaving again. What did you do today, Judith? See, I know what's gonna happen. Oh, I picked some flowers in the front garden. It's beautiful this time of year. I remember the first time I brought you to the castle. Yes, I remember too. The violets were in bloom. How does she remember that? Darling, I was wondering, what is it? Have you killed anyone lately? You know, stolen all their gold and then tortured them for the secrets? Never mind, it's nothing. Yeah, she probably should tell. Good night, my dear. Good night. What a dummy. She's so stupid. Did I take the dagger? That's... I thought I just examined it. I think I'm Jeff now. Also, I want to show you guys something. Look, look, look. Everything's gone. All the gold is gone, right? All the gold's gone. But nobody fucking saw all this blood on the walls. And these look like gold chains too. Why wouldn't they take those off the wall? Those are those are probably worth money. These are probably worth money. These are like antiques. Why didn't they take those? Idiots. This game, I mean it's like it's cool, it's got a cool story to it, but there's a couple like really gaping plot holes. A garden. There's no one here either. There's still somehow grass that hasn't grown back. Maybe the guy was, like, toxic. It looks like there might be something buried here. Yeah, after however long this is, it doesn't really tell you that either. Like, how, how far in the future this is. There's only one way to know for sure if it's her. Why would she have been buried that quickly in the span of, like, five seconds? Even though this was a locked door earlier. There's a skeleton here. He's long dead. Wait, how do you know it's a boy? I think I see something amongst the bones. Let's disturb the body and watch as the skeleton pops up and kills us. It's a key. I wonder why this poor man was buried here in an unmarked grave. How did he have a key? And why didn't she check his body first? The key fits. He had a key to the other cell this whole time. He had a key to his own cell. That's, that doesn't make any sense. I dreamt of him again. He took his own life. You dream of such a weak man, my wife. It's better than dreaming of a homicidal man who's going to kill you. Do you think me so weak? <laughs> you know, I don't think she does. She probably thinks the opposite. So let's check the door to see if I can get the fuck out of here. Nope. She's locked in her own castle. Even though she was clearly allowed outside to pick flowers. I am, I am the girl, right? Oh, that door's locked now. This door's locked now. He knows, and he's gonna kill us. This door's locked. See, there's no way for her to escape now. This door's locked too. Is that? This was not. Open. Hey, look. Well, it's not going there yet. Let's examine the rest of the rooms. Look at all the flat torches on the wall. 
that don't actually provide any light. Looks like this door is locked. Oh wait, I'm the boy now. Never mind. Am I? Looks like this door is locked too. Because I've got white text, so I think I'm I think I'm the boy now. I'm sorry for all the constant sniffling. I've got cat allergies and we have like twelve cats in our house. <gasps> Judith. Oh, I guess I'm the girl. I know what you've been doing. No shit. I'm I'm sorry. You're my wife. I didn't expect I could keep these secrets from you forever. Please don't hurt me. You know from the music that she shit's about to go down. It's not me running. Just to let you know. She can she can like fucking sprint. Like she could probably win in a horse race. There's like a man versus horse thing in England. That's kinda cool. Judith, are you awake? Maybe I'm chained up in the in the same place as the prisoner was. I what happened? My dear, you almost died. I did? You ran off and were caught up in a terrible storm. Yeah, well, it was kind of dark out. Judith, I'm sorry that I've kept so many secrets from you. When you're ready, I want to show you something. The flag clock. <laughs> this just cracks me up. It's the flag clock. It's like Salvador Dali. That's what this, that's what this is. Oh, look. It's open. Am I Judith still? Okay, that's locked. Still. Alright, they're probably all locked. Again. And that door's locked now. Er, that door's locked. Yeah. Oof. We gonna die, y'all. We gonna die. He's not chasing us. Never hurts to be sure. Is this the way I came? Yeah. Which way do I go? No. Watch this door. Okay, he's not... He doesn't chase us, apparently. You'd think that he'd chase us. The door's locked. I can go wherever I want, except out. You should probably, like, break down the door. No, you should, like, pick the lock for the other door and go into the garden and climb the fence and get out of here. Nope, but she's gonna be stupid and convinced that she- he's like- he thinks he's like a wooby or something. What Judith thinks that her husband just needs to be talked to and like understood and helped instead of fucking ran away from and arrested. What is this? This pool? Why is there a pool here? Please understand. I've said so many days of what I've had to do. Maybe it's a chemical pool where he dissolves all his bodies and that's why there weren't any buried in the garden. My love, you don't need to keep secrets from me. There are some things I can never tell you. Please tell me everything. You can trust me. I'll understand. There is one more door in this castle. But please don't ask me to open it for you. So, it doesn't give me an option to say no. So I'm going to be a dumb bitch and say yes. I want to know everything about you, my love. Why would you want to? Why would you want to know? I was afraid you'd say that. As you wish, my dear. This key unlocks the final door. You're fucked. Yeah, I'm not moving. She's so fucking stupid. Okay, well, door wouldn't work. The key fits. Open the door now and see. My former loves await you. See? He killed all of his former wives. Well, then who were all the people in the, uh, in the cellar, in the prison room? Can I go in there? Can I go? No. Yeah. It's pitch black, and he's... Okay, so you lock the door without being near the door. Sorry. Yawn. Well, shit. It's a gate, not a door. Okay. So, we're probably gonna have to go over here. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> it's how Judas is killed. Emily! Jeff, is that you? I thought something had happened to you. How did she get in there? I just turned around and you were gone. I got so lost. I've never been so afraid. Yeah, oh, well, at least you're alive. Jeff, please promise you'll never leave me again. That was a, an abrupt ending. So, aside from the gaping plot holes, um, I give this like a, a 7 out of 10 for being. You know, it was interesting. It was like a more of a. It wasn't really a puzzle game, it was more of a story. You know, a story told through video gaming. You know, there wasn't any like actual stuff to do besides click the space bar and the arrow keys. Um, okay, so what's the moral of this story? The moral of the story is, um, if you try and covet your husband's items, 
and snoop around in his house, you're gonna get killed. And, uh, don't stay in an abusive relationship. Although, they didn't touch on the cheating. Apparently that's okay. Apparently it's alright to cheat. You know, because they found each other safe and sound. So there's no, no anti-cheating message. Okay, fine, whatever. Alright, so I guess that'll end the episode. And see you guys next time for whatever I make. Tell me in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to play. See you guys later.